these things are just flip-flops to walk on. But if you're an electronic engineer, you know better, because a flip-flop is the basic circuitry which you need for switching, computing and a lot of other electronic circuits. How flip-flops really work, I mean the electronic version, is explained by Burkhardt in his starters article. You find it in uh, our next issue for June and he explains exactly how a flip-flop works and what you can do with it etc. And a flip-flop is actually a nice word. We as a student actually thought that a GK master slave flip-flop was the most kinky word in electronics. Read all about it in the June edition and you know everything about flip-flops. But there's more to explore in our next edition. We have a Platino article controlled by LabVIEW and I'm just going to Skype Clemens Valens. He is our editor and online manager and he's living in France, the lucky b So what I do, I Skype him and I give him a short interview on what is happening with Platino and LabVIEW. Hold on for a sec. Where is he? Good morning, Clemens. Good morning. We're waiting for the video. Yeah, there you are, in uh, beautiful France. Um, Clemens, we're doing a short video on the next issue and we also are talking about your article about Platino controlled by LabVIEW. Can you just quickly explain what was it again with Platino and why is it interesting to have it controlled by LabVIEW? Platino is a universal uh, microcontroller board for AVR microcontrollers and it is compatible with Arduino. Okay. And uh, it is interesting to control it by LabVIEW because uh, LabVIEW is a very powerful data processing uh, tool and Platino does not have enough memory to store a lot of data. So you can use Platino to uh, capture data and send it to LabVIEW, process it in LabVIEW and then use LabVIEW to send it, uh, control signals back to Platino and Platino can control uh, motors or relays or something. Okay, so the two products actually quite match quite well together and they just add to their functionality. Exactly. Okay, but is it typically um, work, will the Platino only work with LabVIEW or are there other environments which also work with the Platino? No, Platino can be used uh, standalone as a standalone device. You can do uh, all kinds of things with Platino. You can use it as a robot controller or something, or uh, uh, just a weather station. You can also control it with other PC software, um, similar software, for instance, uh, using a, uh, what's it called, the Fermata protocol. There are lots of tools that can uh, use other protocols and communicate with Platino. It's all, uh, you only need a serial connection between the PC and Platino to uh, exchange data. All right, okay. Well, thanks very much. Everything will be in the article. Uh, I leave you now uh, in beautiful France to go on with your online uh, work. <laughs> and see you next time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, bye. bye. Another article which will be interesting for a lot of people because they really love this and these are uh, the small Nixie tubes and we're having a project uh, with this. Now I have an explanation on why Nixie tubes are actually so popular with you and it all has to do with the Mrs. Factor. So what is the Mrs. Factor? The Mrs. Factor actually is kicking in when you for instance, you want to buy these huge, very nice speakers for in your living room. So you go out with your wife and say, dear, we're going to buy some new speakers. And then the first question she most likely will ask, all right, love, can I put flowers on it? And you say, no, you know, because speakers are not for flowers. I said, oh, right, okay. And then um, can I get around with it, with my vacuum cleaner? I said, no, 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 don't touch it. Go away with your vacuum cleaner. Now, 
most likely you will end up with such small speakers which will be actually stowed away behind some pots and pans and whatever. That is the misses factor. Now with Nixie tubes, the misses factor is zero because they're nice, they're cute, they work, they work silent and they're small. So if you do this project, this is a thermometer and a hygrometer, and if you start this project now, you have it finished by the end of this year and you can check the nice and warm temperature of Christmas this year and you have it all done. So that is the misses factor and that is why Nixie tubes are so popular. That is my theory, of course. Then there is more in this issue. Um, we're having uh, a step motor driver. Of course, we have the pre-amplifier, which is catching up really well and a lot of people find it interesting. It's real analog stuff, so a lot of people love this. And, and also, picking up really nice is the embedded Linux series we're doing. Uh, we just ordered our third batch of hardware for this, so there's enough hardware available to get into touch with embedded Linux and to start experimenting with this. Um, lots of things in our June edition and um, if you're interested and you want to buy it by W.A. Smith in the UK or whatever, go for this cover and you'll see it. And I just finish with the nice Nixie tubes. I have them here. That was as well spannend. Ah, that was not for the camera, I hope. <laughs> but I have them here. You see, they uh, actually measure the temperature, and uh, it changed. It, it changed to the temperature, so they work really nice. Thank you.